Alrighty, so we're looking at the jump squat of junior cricketer John Maloney. It's actually quite a bit of weight for a jump squat. He's got 80 kilos on the bar. The big thing that we're looking at is to make sure he's extending all three uh, lower body joints, so from the ankle through to the knee and through to the hip as well. For quite a lot of weight, you'll find that uh, generally people don't extend the hip quite so much. But as we scroll through, you see as he dips down, he dips just a short range. So we're looking at the hips extending, knees extending, and ankles extending. So if we draw a bit of a picture there and have a look with our line, you can see from the hips through the knee and through the ankle, he's actually extending quite well. What a lot of people do if they're tight in the hamstrings around this area here, they won't actually extend through the knee if their hamstrings are tight. Uh, if their calf muscles are tight, they won't have a big, big plantar flexion or big extension around the ankle either. And if their hip flexors are tight or quads are a bit tight, they won't extend at the hip. And particularly if there's a bit of weight, like there is what John's lifting at the moment here too, they won't extend well through the hip. So he's actually doing rather well if we look at that in real time. Have a look again and hold it there. We can see he's He's extending quite well through all those three joints, and that's an even better rep than the last one. So to make sure you maximise triple extension for all power movements in any sport like cricket or any field sport, any court sport, you're looking at those power and extension through those three joints.